hello, hello, and welcome to yet another episode of the Conversation Capital. The voice of reason today is Fili Ngongwani. Hi, girl. Hi, Hi. 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 <laughs> Lucy. Hey, the voice changes every episode. <laughs> And then today, we have brought in a very good friend of mine, you know, somebody that I love and appreciate. As soon as you see him, you're going to think, oh, that's a TikToker. <laughs> it is a Pila Sande. Hi, doll. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I mentioned the TikToker thing so we can get it out the way. He's actually quickly. here. Yes, quickly. <laughs> He's actually here in a very professional capacity. You know, uh, we're coming through to talk about black people in therapy. Because every other episode, we notice that it's always, oh, we should do therapy oh we should heal and go to therapy why don't we go to therapy and we really want to delve into that so i've called uh, my good friend pila on as a therapist or, or a counselor somebody that walks people through different journeys and and just to figure out what is the stigma with black people and therapy why don't we go why should we go who should we go to should we be going to therapists that look like us black, black and female mm. or should we going be going to the opposite end of the spectrum you know so things mm. like that and that's why we brought pila on pila <laughs> welcome <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. So maybe Thanks let's so start with first things first. I've given a bit of an introduction, but I know that there's definitely more to you. Okay. Who's Pila? Pila is a Zulu boy from KZ, small town, Escort. Uh, but I... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's not to Escort. It's not Escort. <laughs> oh, Escort, but I, um, uh, I'm, I spend a lot of my time with the youth. Uh, mm. I call myself a youth worker, mm. uh, but I, I work with students from UJ. Okay. Uh, and I also work with uh, the African Leadership Academy, kids from there as well. So I spend my time with a lot of youth, and part of what I do is oh, counseling. Are you at ALA? I'm at ALA. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. really cool. That's really cool. Fun stuff. Yo, I love that institute. I love it too. Oh, I, love, I love it too. <laughs> it's everything so I stand for. I'm just like, yes. yes. I love it. Oh, yeah, if you guys don't know ALA, like Google them there. That's it's amazing. Yeah. Amazing institute. Okay, so then, you know, just looking at uh, the direction that we're taking today, mm. um, why should we go to therapy? Yes. Should we go to therapy? Yes. Should we go should to we? therapy? Should we? I mean, we've survived so long without it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. I mean, you yeah, haven't died this is. far. Yeah. You know what? I always, um, I always talk about, like, that one, with therapy, you need to think about it as a health science, mm. firstly. Um, is that there is no hospital that's complete without a mental health department, mm. technically. In an ideal world, every hospital should have your radiology, your burn ward, this, 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 and they should have somewhere where people can deal with their mental issues or the psycho, uh, psychotherapy issues. So one, we need to just look at it as a, a, a you know, treatment for a wound. We need to give it the kind of respect where you're like, I'm actually going to attend to something that's not okay. Mm. Um, but I think mm. what happens is we're very suspicious because it's talking to someone. You know, mm. it's not a doctor with a bandage and mm. stitches. Mm. And so it just feels like, what is it? Mm. Um, and I, I think we should address it as that. Like it's an internal wound mm. that somebody has been trained for to look out mm. and treat. And so you're going to get sure. treatment is what mm -hmm. is happening. At which point does one decide that they need therapy? What, what is it that gets us there? <laughs> okay, one, this is a bit of a controversial part of me. Mm. I always say, go to therapy if you're ready and you know you want to. Mm. Um, don't go if you don't want to or you don't feel like you want to, because mm. then you don't get help. It doesn't help to go to the doctor and be suspicious of the doctor mm. and to get there and be like, I'm not sure whether you, yes. you know. Because when you go to a doctor, you trust the doctor. Mm. Like, even if he gives you Panaro, you're like, Panaro, I don't but know. I'll it. <laughs> but I'll take it because mm. I trust what you're giving me. Mm. So one, I think be ready. Um, and willing. And willing to engage. To yeah. engage and do mm. the work. Um, that's what I, I, I think. So do you think that people should go to therapy when there is a problem? Because you said we need to treat it like a health science. So yeah. I know that... For your body, not you don't always wait for something to be wrong. You go for a checkup, right? Yeah. You need a pap smear every year. You need just yeah. a GP general. Do you must you wait for something to be wrong? Big, yeah. Yeah, like you know, for a breakdown or yeah. because for most people, I find that that is their first introduction to therapy when now yeah. they're having a mental breakdown. Yes. Um, yes and no. Um, I think 
yes, go when there's big stuff because obviously then there's there's an actual problem. Mm -hmm. But I think with with the kind of country we live in, mm -hmm. with the kind of society we're in, mm -hmm. there's something there always, right? Mm -hmm. To treat. Even you road know? rage. Just, yeah. Yeah, just road rage. Jeez. Um <laughs> and just the stuff we've been through mm -hmm. um, as a country, mm -hmm. you know. So yes, sure, it would be great to check up. I think both. So I would yeah. I would definitely say do do both. So let's let's get into now the, the element of now black people and therapy. Mm -hmm. What's the stigma around it? Because we see these TikToks. <laughs> Every time I say TikTok, I'm gonna pause. So <laughs> TikToks and, and you know, posts and shorts and whatever mm -hmm. of like, you know, these like funny commentary around uh, no, anger cases each are also teeth, not it? It's <laughs> depression, depression, you know, yeah. and things like that. We laugh, but what, what, what is it behind? What, what are we actually saying behind all those statements? What, um, yeah, okay. how, how do we, how do we demystify the stigma yeah. around yeah. being black and going to therapy? Yeah. Is there a need to do it? Do our parents need therapy? Are we well, coming no. from a generation of people yeah. that need therapy? And, need to you know acknowledge the importance yeah. of therapy or yeah yeah what, what's what's with black people in therapy? i think one mm. i think we're suspicious of it mm. um and simply because my first point is this we just don't know what it is mm. um we have no idea what you do what happens there mm. um and why i should go there mm. so one i think there just needs to be a work in promoting what it is mm. um sure. the simple work of just explaining what happens why it's important what is it mm. um i think that's that's the first that's the first thing is that we we don't trust it just simply because we don't know it mm. um should our parents be going to therapy uh, or should we be going to therapy i'll make myself as an example how i started going um a lot of stuff had happened in my life but what i enjoyed about it when i got there was the wording like mm -hmm. i was like i came in and i was confused and i was this and i was that and i didn't know what was going on mm -hmm. and there was somebody who was putting words to my experience yes. you know and helping me be like oh mm -hmm. this is this mm -hmm. I feel and rejected. So, yes. I feel vulnerable. Yeah. So it helps you have handles on what you're going through. Yes. And not like you're just oh, going through a big pile of stuff. I love establishing vocab. Yes. Yeah. So now you've got yeah. handles. Yes. Oh, I am I've got post traumatic trauma. Yes. Okay, this is this. Yes. And so you hold on to it. Sure. Um my parents, my brother died a couple of years ago. Mm. And my parents went to well, they've been going through a tough time. We didn't know what to do with them. They were just really struggling. Mm. Um, and then we suggested therapy. Now, I'm from Escort. My parents are the most Zuluest Zulus <laughs> ever. So I was just like, and I didn't even suggest it. My aunt suggested it, and I was like, I believe in this, but not for my parents. I don't know what to do for my parents, <laughs> you know. Um, but my parents went, and it was just so helpful, you know, hearing my mother come back and tell me the stages of grief. And I was like, okay. Is this you? Is this you, uh, right? But she also was able to be like, I so this is where I am. Uh, and this is where your dad is, and so this is why we are where we are. Yeah. And I was like, ooh, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> it worked, yeah. right? So mm. I think just the fact that it will give you a handle on your mind, mm. on the state of your mind, mm. I think that's where it's helpful, and that's why we should go. Um, you said that it gives you a handle. Sorry, I just want to go back a bit. Go for it. Um, and I just want to find out, and for people that don't know, when you said you need to know what happens in therapy, yeah. what does happen? What happens in therapy, and is there uh, a structure like you know when you go to the GP, you get a diagnosis yes. and you get treatment. So yes. what what happens in therapy for people that don't know? Okay, so pretty much it is it is talking about your experiences and what have what has happened to you, right? Mm -hmm. So you're coming to a health professional, you're coming to somebody who's going to treat you. So obviously what they need to do is diagnose where the thing is, right? Mm -hmm. So I always tell people when we talk about this, a lot of, a lot of the time the word trauma is thrown around. I say mm -hmm. the other word for trauma is wound. Okay. Where are you wounded? Mm -hmm. So let's find the wound, let's treat the wound, let's, let's fix where the pain, let's see where the pain is, what's causing the pain, and let's fix where the pain is. Mm -hmm. So it's literally just talking through your emotional health, your, emotion, your mental health, we're just mm. talking through the things that I've heard you and opening up mm. your emotions, opening up your thoughts and figuring out where, the, where there was something wrong, where there was cut, where you are no longer productive. We're just trying to figure out how we can get you back to a state of health in your emotions and your 
and so my thing with that with my therapist with my first introduction to mm. therapy um obviously it was a crisis like most people right mm. i didn't take it as a health science yeah. but i found myself having these sessions where i had to unpack 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 to the point now we've unlocked my subconscious here we are with yeah. this mess and i felt abandoned by my therapist because i think i don't know if it's just me or other people but my personality I want a solution. I don't want to be here. You you okay. took me to the sunken place. <laughs> 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 I don't want to say the name. But I don't want to stay there because now yeah. you're the one. You sure I had a problem, but I didn't think it was this deep. Okay. Now, sure. how do we come out of it? Because now yeah. it's a downward spiral from mm. where I'm sitting because I didn't even acknowledge all of this. It was locked up and I thought I was doing fine. Clearly, I wasn't. Yes. But now, yes. give us a treatment plan. But like the PDC or yes. something, but yes. I need to get up out of here because yes. this is not where I belong. Yeah. So would you please explain like what are the s some type of um, treatment plans that you have for? Um, uh, so basically, going with somebody to fetch these deep. Yes, yes. And because now, how, I felt how do we not abandoned. Get out of there? I get it. There was a point I'm sitting with with home girl. I'm like, you need to use that degree to work because yes. <laughs> yes. every day, and I am not a crier. It was yes. nice to cry for a month, but I ever to this is not who I am. Yes, put that degree to work. I need a plan, six weeks plan, kikopa trauma plan, whatever yes. you diagnose me with. Okay. But I need to come out of this, and we need to have like a progress report yes. and something because this is not where I'm about to be for the rest of my life. Okay. You shouldn't be there for the rest of your life. Please, you shouldn't be there for the rest of your life. Yeah. But I do want to say this. Therapy is not the kind of thing you go to once and are better the next day. Mm. It's unfortunately not. Mm. You have to go and work at it a number of times because mm. you, I'd, I'd like to, uh, my mentor says this, my mentor says emotions are like a tunnel and you have to just go through them. And sometimes you're just in the tunnel. There's light at the end of the tunnel, but you need to walk it out. Mm. So you should, you should eventually get somewhere. Um, the work of your therapist is to bring you to awareness um, of what's going on. Mm. Because you didn't, as you said, you didn't know mm. that you were dealing with these things. Mm. What happened is you freaked out or you now are having anxiety yeah. attacks and you didn't know mm. why now you're this person. And mm. so now what we're finding is this is the root of the problem. Mm. Um, and now my work is to say, here's the root. But you have to go home and do the work, right? So I must prescribe things like, you're not sleeping well, so can you sleep better? Mm -hmm. um, I need to prescribe things like, what's your diet like, right? Mm -hmm. So we must work with each other. So it's, it's an, essentially, there is, there should be a treatment plan mm -hmm. that goes and you should see yourself better at some point. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, yeah, definitely also just the haste of, and I, I can say this with conscience because I know that I also want a solution now. Yeah. You're not going to tell me to delve into the sunken place and not tell me how to get out of it. Yeah. But I think once there is an awareness of what is going on, it's not that quick to get out of. Yeah. However, it does stop the anxiety attacks. Yes. It does. Because mm -hmm. you are now aware. Walking through the tunnel, yeah. you know, it eventually gets you to that place where yeah. like, because I mean, films, if you compare, uh, as a friend that was a, a bystander, to where you are now, mm. you've been walking the journey. Mm. Do you, understand? you might have wanted the solution then. Yeah, but, mm. right? in the sessions right it's it's mm. obviously this was over how long how long like months right mm. i felt like therapy is also very all i was doing is talking which is great right yeah and crying i'm not a cry so <laughs> we had a breakthrough there yeah, yeah. <laughs> but as i am talking you through these things and how i'm feeling yes you're telling me you're diagnosing me oh yeah. this is this this is i also want like i don't know if i'm articulating it properly but i want to um not a solution, an immediate solution, but I, I want you to be like, well, maybe a coping mechanism while we're on this journey. Yes. Because so to avoid these breakdowns. Yes. Maybe you should try this and that and that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So maybe I didn't have a great therapist, <laughs> but it's possible. But not you know, saying your therapist yes, wasn't that's great. what I'm saying. So mm -hmm. for me, my abandonment, fault, Hore, my sessions were solely dependent on me talking crying okay. and leaving yeah. and my like my personality I'm a, I'm a i'm a problem solver so yes, yes i want to gain something out of the session we've already had the breakthrough i'm crying now yeah. here we are and yeah. then i want to to avoid maybe now because i still have to go to work yes. maybe you can suggest host maybe see she she wasn't like 
your diet. Yes. You know, maybe I could eat better, go for a run so that I can still show up for work because yeah. when you are in such a state, it's so difficult just to mm. life, you know, I because you, you're right? so composed by your emotions and this is a new thing. You're not even used to acknowledging your emotions. Yes. Mm. yes. I think it's, it's great that you wanted to reach a place where you're whole because I think that's what you, you're yeah. crying out for. You're like, I actually want to feel whole. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm done with the brokenness. Because it's your fault that I am. <laughs> <laughs> sure. sure. Yeah, I, was, I, was cracked. <laughs> I was cracked when I got here. Now I'm broken. Now, I'm broken. <laughs> now it's a mess. Yeah. <laughs> but I think you, you also got to think about how long your breaking happened for. Fair. You know, mm. like how long were you in the thing you were mm-hmm. in, you know? Um, and we live in a generation that wants, you know, the Uber Eats, the microwave, yeah. you know, so the, everything is so instant and quick. Mm-hmm. And some things aren't, aren't like that. Sure. Um, I like to say, uh, I don't know where I heard this phrase, but I, it's always sat in my heart so deeply, like that nature is slow, but everything gets done. Mm. Like, mm. And so that's what therapy is mm. like. It's slow, but everything gets done. Mm. Um, it's going to sit in my heart. And, <laughs> and, there, and, and, and healing for me is not an exit. It's a spiral. So the pain is here, but this is how you get out of it. Mm. So you keep passing the same places sometimes. It feels like you're not actually improving, but you are. It's mm. just that you're spiraling out instead of like walking out quickly. And I'm impatient because I'm just like, yes. I want to get out of here. Yes. I don't see the exit. What's yes. happening? Yes. But the truth of it is, yeah. I, I cry differently for my, for my brother every mm. year. I'm crying about a different subject. Yes, I'm still grieving him, mm. but I cry differently. This time, mm. this year it's this, this mm. year it's that, this year mm. it's this, but I'm, I'm stepping away. It's just that it's slowly, mm. it's slowly, sure. and it's not as like, now I'm fine, I'm okay with it, mm. you know? I, I um, moved past it. Yeah. You could be on the opposite end of the hurt, yeah. but you're still gonna make your revolution back to... It is what it uh, is. And it will hurt different. It will. It will hurt better, or it will hurt worse. Yeah. Mm. And ooh. ooh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and 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 I I want to talk specifically to like my thing with therapy. Mm-hmm. So you've spoken about going into the second place and wanting to be pulled out immediately. Mm-hmm. Uh, my thing with therapy is so I've picked up, and this might be, but it's just my experience. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's Bible truth or fact. My experience has been, I, I introduced it a little bit to say, you need to go to a therapist that looks like you. Mm-hmm. and I've. My experience has, ooh, <laughs> I keep seeing problematic, 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 like streaming out of my mouth. But my experience has been that um, there are certain techniques or um, societal, cultural ways that uh, other races or, you know, people that from a different walk to yours deal with certain things. Sure. An example would be, I, I feel that a white male cannot understand the injustices I experience in the workplace, mm. cool. right? Mm. Um, as much as they unlearn and learn and relearn and listen to podcasts by yeah. soul sister searching, I don't know what podcast <laughs> they are that will teach them or, yeah. you know, shed some light on the plight of a black woman in corporate South Africa or, you know, whatever um, professional workspace one is in, yeah. um, that only a black female or at the very least another black male yeah. can understand. Yeah. And, and, and then I even extended a step further to say there's certain ways that certain cultures deal with certain things. Um, once again, super problematic possibly, but it's my experience, yeah. my lived experience. Um, like you'll find that, you know, white people easily say, no, cut your gran off. Yeah. She's toxic. Yeah. Too. And that's not the society. That's, that's I never had an a option. friend who had a white male therapist who was, yeah, team cut that gran off. <laughs> Team, cut you, sure. your sister off. She's toxic, you know. And I remember just like, whoa, mm. what's going on? This mm. is a lot, you know. Mm. Like, why are you going through this? And mm. and from then, I've always been very passionate about if you're gonna do therapy, somehow a, a background needs to be established. That and and oh, maybe technically, a therapist shouldn't be telling you who to cut off and how to cut off. And I don't know. Mm. Like, I don't know the details of what a therapist is supposed to do. I didn't study anything like that. But I, I remember just thinking. I would be super conscious in my next, you know, pursuit for a therapist yeah. to look for somebody that looks like me, Definitely. that can relate to certain things in a way that I relate, mm-hmm. that sees yeah. the world in a way that, and I don't choose to see the world this way. The world has taught me yeah. that I need to see it this way. Yeah. You know, I would love to be identified as a white male, but I am not. You know what I mean? Would you love to? Sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the privileges that come with I being white you. male are extensive, yeah. guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even with that. 
<laughs> okay. We, I, I hear your point. No, I hear your point. I, I, I would never, but I hear your point. Yes. I hear where you're going with this. No. <laughs> no. Never but us. Absolutely not. We love uh, our blackness and all our difficulties. Not. Forever and ever. In Carcassville. Yes. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. 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 <laughs> You're okay. a bad influence. Right. Ah, right. Yes, yes. <laughs> what do you understand what I mean by yes. like uh, the the desire to to be immediately trusted? Yeah. The desire to be immediately assumed that you're you know knowledgeable and smart mm-hmm. and intelligent. The desire to be um, uh, immediately yeah just grouped in a place that is uh, competent. You see, the you think mm-hmm. they uh, white men especially you're competent. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's not a privilege that is given to. Black, black people. people and black sure. females even double now it's double you know mm. you're at the bottom of the mm. bottom of the barrel right and you're you're outside the barrel you're lifting the barrel up that's how far yes. down you are mm. as a black female yeah. Yeah. and you have to then come forward and say no i've got uh, this i've got that like you see it every day the women at the top have phds and they're super overqualified for those yeah. posts but that's how much you have to work against and so my thing with therapy is that i would like to see i would like to be with somebody who sees the world in that lens so that sure. they understand my pain and my trauma yeah. when i share it with them yeah. i'm like somebody who could dismiss that element because they've never lived in yeah. in that experience you know yeah um is that is that the correct way to go about it though or is that my own trauma now influencing me? <laughs> now trauma, 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 trauma. And now it's a, a deep, dirty cycle of trauma. You know, I think one, I would, I would like to say that there are good therapists and there are bad therapists. Mm. And that's true for every profession, mm. unfortunately. Mm. Um, and so there are people who can deal well with your issues and people mm. who don't deal well with your issues. Um, do Have I experienced what you've experienced? Yes. I remember having uh, talking to a white therapist about my grief, you know, especially in the beginning, you know, and explaining just the basics of... Then a million people were at my house, you know, and mm. them finding like that. Why, why, why was everybody there? I'm like, what do you mean, why? Like, <laughs> what do you mean, why? Why did you like? And my one, it didn't bake the cake. You know, like, <laughs> so there's definitely there's there'll always be everybody is everybody's subjective. Um, mm. I think to a to a point. Sure. Um, but if my opinion is if if you find somebody good, they should be able to help you. They should be able to, if you if you find somebody good, they should be able to help you. Do we need to specialize sometimes? Sure. Let's call it specializing mm-hmm. sometimes. I think sure. There's nothing wrong wrong with that because I guess somebody who's my skin type will hear me immediately when Definitely, I say Definitely because w- therapy is expensive. Mm-hmm. I found that now I'm explaining cultural differences yes. in a session and not getting to the issue. Sure. Yeah. Because of sure. Yeah. Yeah. Th- sure. the race issue, you yeah. know? Mm-hmm. And also um, you're just more comfortable with, I think, a, uh, a person that looks like you. Yeah. Because when you're, when someone outside of your race is telling you that you are doing way too much and your dreams are and expectations are too much, yeah, you don't take it as mm-hmm. someone that's that looks the same already. You're like, colonizer, you don't want me to be great. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yes. So yeah. it, 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 it helps. It helps, but I think yeah. also it is case by case True. because I, I mean, so as you know, as as much of as I had problems with my therapist, she did really like you said. I'm so much better than then, mm-hmm. but now as a 31 year old, my you know my issues aren't what they were now. It's more about like my place in society, my race, my you know yeah. my gender, and mm-hmm. just things that mm-hmm. I would need. Yeah, sure. And I was, who looks I was like talking me. to you the other day, and I was like, when I was dealing with my issues mm-hmm. of resenting white people mm, mm, mm. i needed a white man in front of me mm. to sit and talk and talk it out with somebody who was that race to figure sure. it out with mm. him right um because it was difficult mm. for me and for him because i needed him to do the work also to be like what's going on with your race no we ended up the <laughs> <laughs> yeah like what's going on with your race and he was like he was so firm and he was so great at just coming wow. to the party and when he didn't know he didn't know and it was good for us, you know. We went through the journey. So, for me, it, that was how that season was helpful. Yeah. And I mean, when I thought about it, I was like, should I really talk about this topic with this man? I don't know. But when I did it, it was very helpful, you know. Mm. So, case by case. Case by case. Case by case. Mm. Case by case. Ooh. 
Yep. I think, yeah, a million and one things can be said around <laughs> therapy. And I think the price of it is something we touched on lightly, but it's not a joke. It's expensive. There are many people right now listening of free yeah. Wi-Fi at the library saying, yeah, I can't mm. afford a therapist, actually. Yeah. Uh, you know. You know. That's, true. <laughs> That's true. You know, I mean. That's true. But I I'm know that um, jobs and I feel like public, I can't a public uh, some public hospitals offer it. Yeah. Okay. Um, also psychiatric treatment. Yeah. Um, I just don't know how you maneuver around the system, like just to get in. I don't know if you consult and whatever, but I know that they do offer yeah. it, and the treatment is quite excellent. Yeah. I mean, because, yeah. Oh, sorry, I can drop a couple of links for you mm -hmm. around the places that are, are okay. free. We're gonna have that so in the description box. I'll, I'll yeah. give you a couple of links for that. Right. But if you're a university student, there should be a mm. place oh, yes, yes, um, yes, where yes. you can where you can talk. Clinics should have one. Hospitals, it works different. Hospitals, you need to come in with like either. A psychiatric mm. issue for you to be passed on to the department mm. so that's a bit tricky but there should be clinics but i'll also pass you the links so, yeah because so i think that i mean the FAMSA. 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 yes oh, it's not yes it's yeah, free therapy yeah, yeah. it's free therapy for families mm. yeah and and yeah there, there is they are you know so the social worker do uh therapy counseling of sorts and they're trained in that element yes. to uh, their churches Yes. Uh, you know, I'm going to drop a church now that helped me at some point. They gave me a therapist, Rosebank Union. Yes. Right? I worked with them as well, yes. Oh, so my God. Yeah. Oh, shout out to yeah, that great. church. Shout out to Rosebank Union. Yeah, shout out to... They yeah, take mental health great. seriously. Really? Yeah, they and they're take great. mental health like, seriously. Mm. And, and yeah, so I'm sure there are other institutions like that as well. So I think it is important that if you are looking for healing, yeah. uh, that you don't allow money to be a factor. Please mm. don't. Yeah, don't allow money to be a factor. If you really search, they are there. Yeah. Um, not even really search. Sometimes it's just a Google search. Free counseling. Honestly, it really is. Yeah. Sometimes it really After is. After the episode. <laughs> <laughs> After, don't Google now during the episode. After yeah, the episode, yeah, yeah, Google yeah. free counseling. And, and, and yeah, you will be surprised at the solutions and the options are there. Uh, I know many work facilities as well. Yeah. Um, yes, that's true. Yeah. You that's know, they, they have a wellness, wellness center. Yeah. Wellness centers, and wellness centers. They're so important because they're the same ones that are burning us out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so but grateful I that I don't work in corporate. And it's also just, um, it's the birds. Mm. It's important to invest in it. I know it's expensive, yes. but if you can, yeah. like, please do, mm. because you always yeah. pay somehow for it. Yes. You know, Ooh. Ooh. other ways in your life. They say if you don't uh, pay for health, uh -uh. if you chase. This is gonna be <laughs> you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. it. There it is. So basically, if you um, spend your if you spend your health making money, eventually you will spend the money to gain your health. Absolutely. Mm. So along those lines, Absolutely. basically you are going to end up paying in For one it. way or the other mm. if yeah. you don't take care and check yeah. in every once in a while. Yeah. Where are you? What are you doing? I remember even listening to a post, uh, a post, listening to a post, listening to uh, it was actually a radio show where the, the guy was saying, you need therapy when you're buying a house. Yes. Walk you through the steps wow. of it. Yes. The mm. feeling. I, I remember with like about my first property, I felt mm. very overwhelmed. Yeah. Mm. Was what I, was, I was nervous. I was like, okay, mm. what, what am I doing? What's mm. going on? Mm. Uh, and then I remember at some point, they, somebody called me to say, okay, you need insurance and, and life insurance. Mm. Why, why do I need to insure my life? <laughs> For a life? house. I don't know, honestly. <laughs> and I remember I immediately hung up and I called somebody else. I'm like, do, you, I, need, do I need this thing? Or they're trying to scam me into getting more stuff. No, 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 you need it. Then I went back. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's so many factors too. So basically, yeah, things like that. These Even moving cities, things. by the way, oh. is a traumatic experience. Actually, I had, um, when I moved to China, I had, um, what is it, Bobby? What did I have? Um... Adjustment disorder oh. for um, a good year, and I was there for two years. So there go. imagine half, the half of the time, make it up. I had adjustment disorder. But didn't you need that word? Like, didn't that word help you? Like, <laughs> <laughs> the way no, <laughs> no. I no. was thinking, no solution. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but for me, vocab. I, like, I agree with that. Vocab is the best thing. Vocab says there's research around it. Yeah, it's happening to others. It's not just me. Yes. You know? Yeah. Vocab, vocab says, this is a thing. Yes. I'm not being delusional. You know, the fact that there's a word for it. I can do something. Yes. There's the fact that there's a word around. for it, it means yeah. that this is something that people go through. Mm. You know, and that's what talking for me has helped me. Because yeah. every time you talk, you realize somebody can completely relate. Mm. You know, every guest that sits here, I'm always like, hey, yeah. Mm. I can completely <laughs> relate. That's what talking, yeah. that's what conversation does, you yeah. know? Is there, because I remember a friend of mine um, got admitted to a psychiatric 
hospital, right? And she had difficulties. At the time, she couldn't really express herself vocally sure. on what was happening. And she was like, she really doesn't like the fact that therapy is so based for adults, mm. is based on how much you, you talk and how you express yourself vocally. So what are, are there any other ways? Because I know for kids you have, um, you can draw and Indoor. paint and yeah. all of that. Yeah, because so the fact that it's, you know, the, the, the main, yeah, like you, you, you have to talk, you, you talk. know. And without yeah. talking, you can't get a diagnosis because again, vocab, you know, this and this. But some yeah. people are so traumatized and they're so, you know, they're yeah. that way. And they can't even express themselves that, like, by speaking. Yeah. So... Sure. Yes, that one is tough. So that one, th this is where now the argument between, you know, like the main psych psychologists who've got like the degrees and mm. all those things. Mm. And then you have the holistic guys mm. who are the guys everyone views as like, mm. you know, a little bit not French. the norm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you French, know. Yeah. So um, I, f I find sometimes those are the better guys who can communicate mm. with you because they're using different ways to, s to communicate mm. with you and, and diagnose mm. your issue instead of just your words. Mm. Um, so it does help for me. I, I, I firm believe in holistic psychology um, or holistic therapy, let me put mm. it that way. There's nothing called holistic mm. psychology, sorry. Mm. Um, so maybe trying the guys out who are more homeopathic in their, mm. in their mm. uh, therapy ways. Yeah. So it, That would help if you can't... I would think so. Time. I would think so. Yeah. But then there's also, I mean, if if they were at a psychiatric hospital, mm. surely there should be somebody like there should be somebody who's specialized in those kind of things. Because when somebody's um, lost it in that way, there should be some way somehow to calm them down and then figure out what to do. Though that's not something I'm very knowledge about. So, yeah. 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 I'm actually realizing it's such a difficult question. I've never mm. even thought about it. What if you were better at drawing out your traumas? Exactly. Then talking yeah. about it. And it's them. offered for kids. I know um, educational uh, psychology Because for they kids. don't have vocab. Exactly. Mm. But for adults, they don't have that specific way to drawing information out of your patient and getting a diagnosis outside of speaking. And, so, you know, not everyone can articulate, articulate and speak. Like, at the time, especially now, if you've been admitted, you know, it's you're probably going through the most of the time. Yeah. Sure. So, yeah. I think that definitely I'd like to leave that one up in the comment box. If you know something or some way where one could go where they're struggling to articulate their words, you know, share with us. Fems, this is a bit of a silly question, but it's definitely directed to you. Did you go to therapy in China? When I went to therapy in China? No, so I was. <laughs> I feel like I don't have, they don't have struggles. So it's illegal to have depression in China. E so you illegal. Could, I could have gotten, well, any mental illness, you can get your visa like stripped or revoked. Like you can't. You're not allowed to have hey, those babies. problems. Get your money. <laughs> That's it. Hey, so babe. I was, my same therapist that I had years ago, we were on a Zoom. We would have a session every week. So I had to have one outside of the country. And... <laughs> so now I'm in China and I, um, I wasn't in the position to shop for a new therapist because um, my therapist didn't look like me and at the time I'd evolved and I wanted someone that looks at me that looks like me but I couldn't I just had her so I was like I'm gonna use her but some therapist also I think hmm I shouldn't say this on here <laughs> but um there are laws with the uh, therapy institution that um some therapists can operate in only in their country and oh. and 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 yeah okay sure. Basically. Okay, that was knowledge. Yeah, but um, my therapist, I Zoom called her, sure. which was convenient for me. Yeah. Um, because the ones that I do, I did know for foreign nationals in China, um, they were far out. Like I couldn't oh, yes. physically go. Yeah. Okay. But also, I, it's it's you know. It's, so not, my it's not allowed. Oh, so you don't want to, you know, yes. get there. Next thing, the is it not allowed for Ooh. foreign nationals, but for people of the country? Yes, yeah, for foreign because the foreign nationals must be healthy. Oh. So no, so for foreign, it's not allowed. But it's like mental illness in the in the country isn't a thing. Like it's not a health science. Okay. Yes. So Lue and I, it's not allowed to kiss saying Like, what are you doing? Do you get what I'm saying? Because yeah. they don't do it. So. Yeah. Interesting. 
That is so it's hectic. So we have a lot of our brothers and sisters there, like literally going through the most, and they can't even yeah voice it because because as soon as you if you go to the doctor and you are like okay actually I have depression at home and I need antidepressants, as soon as if if anyone can find that out, then your visa could get crazy. Yeah, and you don't want to risk that. So now you're busy there. Yeah. Take this is okay. so interesting. Mm. A friend Didn't of ours, remember, I told you she wasn't well and she mm. couldn't get access to antidepressants mm. because, yes. yeah. I didn't know that that was the reasoning. I actually yeah. never asked. Mm. So she has to come home, get like a year's supply. Wow, right? I did not know that. Yo, that, that was yeah. a knowledge bomb for me. Mamela, nerigoa. Mamela, nerigoa. Never sharp, never sharp at all. Because for me here, I would have like you know rescues. Mm. I remember I had to um for Wait, did rescue drop something that's so mel. I had to import them from the US. Any oral surgery and zayeti, ma'am. But get lawyer highest out. Thank you, lockdown. When you, I have to literally sure. import them. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. So other countries aren't. There. Do you think that's a space though that you could go into if you think that of what foreign nationals need help? Like, could Job there market. be a way to help them? I would take you women. <laughs> I, I have my own I heard. heard, heard and found. But um, anyone who wants to, you, you know, <laughs> are you asking Scurry. me to save the world or all not. the foreign nationals in China? <laughs> yeah. One day. <laughs> We will uh, be praying for the foreign nationals. <laughs> Pina, thank you so much for jumping on. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge and your wisdom with us. And and yeah, thank you so much for taking the time Love to do that with us. Thank you, thank you, because I think it's so important for us to delve into that um, conversation and topic. And I do want to sign out, but before I sign out, can I sneak in one more question? Okay. How do we now rope our parents? And I know that you successfully managed to bring your parents yeah. in. Um, and I, I can't sign out without asking that question. <laughs> you know, if we're speaking of black people in therapy, yeah. number one is the older generation. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I struggle with the cause. I've been to therapy, yes. but, uh, you know, I think I wasn't willing to really do the work for that long. Yeah. So I you know, revert to podcasts that talk about what I'm going through. Sure. <laughs> sure. You know, versus sitting with someone and really delving yeah. in and walking the journey because you want to be healed immediately. I'm definitely yeah. one of those as well. Uh, and just sitting there talking, and then now what? What you know? Where do we go yeah. to next? And so, I, I definitely that was a pointer. But now, if I'm struggling and I'm in this generation where it's a thing, yeah, and you know we're acknowledging, and now imagine a generation that's above me that doesn't see it as a thing. Sure. How do you rope them in, especially as a young girl who's 15, 16, mm. going through some kind of depression, a yeah. dip? Um, you know, who maybe is being raised by the grandmother, yeah. you know, even a second layer. So now there's a whole mother, gener- parent, yeah. generational gap. She needs to yeah. now deal and reach up yeah. um, even further than just, you know, the first jump of reaching out to mom yeah. to go all the way to the top to um, parent or grandparent. Yeah. You know, what is that link? How do we, how do we join the dots? How do you, how do you, what's your advice to that yeah. kid to reach that parent? Or what's your advice to the parent to say, hey, meet your kid halfway? Okay. So can I do it by telling my story? Yes. How we got our parents through is by having somebody talk to them and it was our aunt and the pastor. Mm. Right? So people that my parents respected, mm. you know, sat them down and were like, okay. Okay. You are going to your son's grave every day. Oh, something is wrong, you know. But I think getting people who they will listen to. Because for us, unfortunately, our parents don't want to listen to us. We are young, they raised us, what do we know? They raised us. Okay, sharp. But maybe trying to find a neutral, respected party um, who understands what's going on, um, who understands what's going on. Um, So some, like the churches are great, like pastors are great. (laughs) A great link with parents because those are respected parties. Um, so finding a, a, a neutral party who's not you, who's respected by your parents, I think that's, that's, that's a win. Mm. Um, and then talking to your parents. I mean, we were talking to our parents. We were like, we're concerned. What's going on? You know, letting them know that there is a concern. There is something mm. wrong and it doesn't need to be. Mm. Mm. Um, there's something wrong and it doesn't need to be. So where can we, where can we meet each other? Mm. So I think finding a party that's respected, big win. Sure. Big win. Yeah.
Yeah, that was some good advice because that's true. Mm. Black parents don't listen to kids. You know, mm. but if there is a loop. Yes. Mm. If there is a loop where you yes. can talk to somebody that they respect yes. and, and yeah. hear, then maybe that's, that is an access point yeah. to the parent. We've got a long way to go. I mean, they're yeah. not, they didn't sit in 10 sessions, by the way. They like mm. sat in four and they were like, hey. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah, We've got a long way to go. I but, hear you. Yeah. Uh, but it was a win, man. It yeah, was. A win, win is, is a win. A win is a win. A win is a win. Okay, for real, for real, thank you so much for joining us. It's thank been you amazing to have you. Uh, it is Pila Sunday. And um, make sure you catch him on all the other platforms. We'll put him in the description sure. box below. Fimsy Wimsy, thank you to you too for holding it down. Thank while you. While Bonga's been on a vacay. Bonga, you need to come back. Huh? <laughs> she makes me laugh too much during the recordings. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We always appreciate the comments, especially engage with us. It's from the comments sometimes that we come up with other topics and other things to other avenues to go through and discuss. And so please make sure you leave your comments below. We love you so much uh, here at the TCC family. For now, though, goodbye and God bless. <laughs>